we have completed JFET biasing and now we will start MOSFET biasing and out of depletion type MOSFET and enhancement type MOSFET we will start with depletion type MOSFET because it is similar to JFET depletion type MOSFET is similar to junction field effect transistor if you compare the transfer curve in case of JFET and also in case of depletion type MOSFET you will find they are almost same I will explain why they are almost same in this case we are using n channel depletion type MOSFET you can see we have n channel depletion type MOSFET and uh, throughout our DC analysis we will use n channel depletion type MOSFET like we used n channel JFET and a depletion type MOSFET in short we call D MOSFET and in the same way you can call enhancement type MOSFET E MOSFET and before talking about the transfer curve of N channel D MOSFET we will first talk about the operating point the operating point or Q point or the Q ascent point is the point having the coordinates VGS Q and IDQ out of which VGSQ is the input voltage and the X coordinate VDQ is the output current or the drain current and it is the Y coordinate and to obtain the operating point we require two plots two plots are required and the first plot is the transfer characteristics transfer characteristics and the second plot is the load line load line transfer characteristics is the characteristics of the device in this case it is n channel d mosfet and load line we will obtain once we have the network having this device so transfer characteristics we can easily obtain if we know the device and for load line we need the actual network like in this case we don't have the network in which the N channel D MOSFET is implemented but we only have the N channel D MOSFET so we can obtain the transfer characteristics because we know what type of device we are having but we cannot obtain the load line so for load line we need the network and the intersection between transfer characteristics and the load line will give us the operating point so what we have to do we have to plot the transfer characteristics and then from the network by applying the KVL in the input loop we have to plot the load line and the point of intersection will be the operating point the X coordinate of the point will be VGSQ and the Y coordinate will be IDQ we know this thing already we have done this in case of junction field effect transistor and in this case also in case of D MOSFET also you have to perform the same thing but the difference is there in case of transfer characteristics the load line part will remain the same you have to apply KVL in the input loop to find out the equation of a straight line and then plot the line using that equation but the transfer characteristics will not remain same it is almost same it is not completely same so now we will try to understand how the transfer curve in case of N channel D MOSFET is almost same as the transfer curve in case of N channel JFET so let's try to understand this point in case of D MOSFET and in case of JFET the drain current which is the output current is equal to IDSS inside the bracket 1 minus VGS over VP whole square this is the Shockley's equation and both JFET and DMOSFET follows the Shockley's equation IDSS is the saturated drain current and it is given along with the device VP is the pinch of voltage it is also given with the device VGS is the input voltage and by using this we can easily obtain the drain current ID so we are going to have the transfer characteristics with the same nature let's make two columns and the first column is for JFET junction field effect transistor and that also for N channel and the second column is for D MOSFET the depletion type MOSFET 
and the type is n channel in case of jfet the input voltage vgs can be negative it can be less than 0 volt in case of d mosfet also the input voltage vgs can be negative in case of jfet vgs can be equal to 0 volt we have seen this is special case in the last lecture and in case of d mosfet also vgs can be equal to 0 volt in case of jfet vgs vgs greater than 0 volt is not allowed this is not allowed in case of n channel jfet vgs cannot be positive but in case of n channel d mosfet vgs can be positive so this is the difference in case of n channel jfet vgs cannot be positive but here in this case n channel d mosfet vgs can be positive now what will be the effect on drain current id as vgs is not positive the maximum drain current id is equal to idss when you put vgs equal to 0 volt here you will have id equal to idss so i dss is the maximum drain current in case of jfet both n channel and p channel but as in this case vgs can be positive you can increase vgs more than vgs equal to 0 volt idss is no longer the maximum drain current idss is not maximum drain current but it is the saturated drain current when vgs is equal to 0 volt so this is one difference when you compare n channel jfet with n channel d mosfet and due to this reason i said the transfer curve of the two devices are almost same we have to plot the transfer curve in the same way but we also have to consider that vgs can be positive now what will be the effect on the operating point the operating point in case of n channel jfet can have the negative x coordinate we are talking about the x coordinate of the operating point i will write this down in the bracket the x coordinate of the operating point can be negative or it can be zero these are the two possibilities in case of n channel jfet but in case of n channel n channel d mosfet the operating point can have negative positive or zero x coordinate the x coordinate can be negative or it can be zero or it can be positive so this is the difference if you talk about the operating point in the two cases now in the next part we will try to plot the transfer curve and once you understand how to plot the transfer curve you can easily plot the load line and the intersection will give you the operating point so the initial steps will remain same as it was in case of jfet you have to obtain three points you will get the first point when you make id equal to zero amp in the shockley's equation and when you do this you will have vgs equal to vp which is the pinch off voltage so this point here is our first point out of three this is the first point and to get the second point to get the second point make vgs equal to zero volt in the shockley's equation and in this scenario the drain current id will be idss the saturated drain current and to get the third point this point here is our third point and to get this point make vgs vp over 2 and you will get id as idss over 4 so in this way we obtained the three points in case of jfet but as we already know in case of d mosfet vgs can be positive it can be greater than 0 volt so we have to consider this situation also and first we will revise what will be the effect on drain current id if we make vgs more positive we already know this because we had discussion in depletion type mosfet lecture if you make vgs more positive or if you increase it in positive direction the drain current increases rapidly this means 
small increment in VGS will result in larger drain current. And because of this reason, I will not make VGS more positive than negative of VP by 2. Let's say VP, the pinch of voltage is equal to minus 8 volt. So VP by 2 will be minus 4 volt and I will not make VGS greater than negative of VP by 2. This means VGS should be less than plus 4 volt. And this is not some rule, but this is what I will do in the coming presentations. There is no need to make VGS larger than negative of VP by 2. And in this case, let's say VGS is plus 2 volt. So put VGS equal to 2 volt in Shockley's equation and you will have the corresponding drain current. Let's say this is the corresponding drain current. And I will call this current, I will call this current I D prime. And you can clearly see small increment in VGS is producing a large change in the drain current. And now we can have the fourth point to obtain the transfer curve in case of N channel depletion type MOSFET. We needed the four points. We already have the three points and this point here is the fourth point. And now I will join this point with the fourth point. And in this way we have the transfer curve of N channel depletion type MOSFET. And this is the characteristics of the device. And if you have the complete network, you can get the equation of load line. And let's say after you plot the load line, you will have the point of intersection like this and one thing you can clearly see the operating point the operating point is having the x coordinate the x coordinate positive and this was not possible in case of jfet because load line cannot have the intercept greater than idss you can see this is the intercept of the load line and it is greater than IDSS this was not possible in case of JFET because IDSS is the maximum current in case of JFET and also the transfer curve will not extend to this side it will not extend to this quadrant of the graph because VGS cannot be positive I hope this lecture is clear to you in the coming presentations we will try to understand different biasing schemes of depletion type MOSFET